Good morning, everyone. Today is a music day at Central City Middle School. As you saw yesterday, we were in the country of Scotland learning all there is to know about golf. Mr. Garfield and I have really enjoyed seeing all of your submissions and your very creative ideas about how to stay active at home. Um, today, we're going to continue on the Scottish theme as we talk about some of the music and traditions of Scotland. And then we're going to actually look at some um, Scottish folk music as well. So for today's lesson, we're going to look at a few things. Number one, the geography, where in the world is Scotland? Number two, the traditions of the country, some of the instruments that are unique to Scotland, and finally, the Scottish folk songs that we're going to look at today. So Scotland, as you can see, is very northern in the Atlantic Ocean and just above England there. So this is where in the world we are talking. Um, we really like this um, this theme around the world because, as you know, travel is very limited right now. So this is a way that we can provide a window to the world for you um, in a time where travel is not advised. So looking at the traditions of Scotland, there's a few main things that come to mind. Number one, the bagpipes obviously are a big part of Scottish music. You heard those in yesterday's video. The kilt as well, and the tartan, which is a hat that is worn by Scottish people. Um, one thing that I found really interesting as I was kind of researching some things to share with you is that this the pattern of the plaid actually has meaning. So the tartan or the the plaid that they that they wear is um, related to their family history or their clan that they belong to, or it can also mean have meaning with regard to where in Scotland they live. So the particular pattern of plaid that you wear has um, meaning. A lot of the instruments that we're going to look at today are um, very similar to what we talked about when we were looking at Irish music when we were still in school. Um, but obviously the accordion and bagpipes are, are the main ones, but also heard throughout um, Scotland is the guitar, fiddle, harp, tin whistle, and the baran, which is this drum. So um, a lot of very unique instruments for this for this part of the world. Uh, and today we are very lucky to have a guest performer who is going to demonstrate the uh, accordion. Let's have a look. Thank you, Mr. Garfield, for sharing your accordion skills with us. The song that you just heard him play was called Auld Lang Syne, and it's written by a poet from Scotland named Robert Burns, a very famous um, Scottish poet. Uh, and the song is actually frequently performed during New Year's. It's kind of a way to bid farewell to the year and to welcome the new year in. Um, so that's why it might be familiar to you. That is a song that we are going to sing today. And so I'm going to put the music up on the screen for you. And I would invite you to join Mr. Garfield and I as we sing Auld Lang Syne, the traditional Scottish folk song. Two, three. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne. Thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. Stay active, keep singing, and keep sending us your pictures and videos because we want to see what you guys are up to, and we're going to be sharing those out um, to the group at the end of the week. So be sure to get those in, and uh, look forward to next week as we head to Greece. Have a good one.